everybody, how's it going? My name is Garrett, and welcome to Demon's Souls on the PlayStation 5. Long time coming. I've always wanted to play this game. I picked it up on the PS3, and obviously never got around to it. But it's definitely one of these titles that really looks amazing. I played a little bit on the PlayStation 5. So, yeah, we're going to do a new game here. Um, I can't go online because you have to have PlayStation Plus for online. Which is stupid, and I'm not willing to uh, uh, spend my money on that. Not right now. Because, screw you, Sony. <laughs> oh, but I loved all of the Souls franchise games. I started off with two, went to three, and I've done uh, Sekiro. I've done all sorts of Souls games, and... I don't know where I want to be at with this one. I'm guessing by the hunch overness of it tends to be a hmm tends to be how much uh, weight you're using here. Eh. I ran, we, uh, my buddy Cody and I came over, uh, we're checking it out. I think we ran night originally. Kind of want to go Hunter. I, I do like a good roll. Not that it really matters. I mean, you can always, you always get to kind of make things as you go here. An axe and bow well versed. Okay, let's, let's start here. Where, what do I have to pick from? A stone that radiates a guiding light. Bright water. Raises item discovery. Kunai! Yeah, do I want to go with the ring? I kind of want to go with the ring, I think. I feel like item discovery is going to help, especially in the uh, beginning of the, the game here. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's fine. Sure. I think the only thing... Vocals? Yeah, he's fine. That works. Let's do this. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. Whatever. Let's do it to it. King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world. And those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless folk had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. Ah, oh, that's how it works. The okay. The power <laughs> of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fisher to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. 
pure of the Twin Fangs. Yet the silent chief, Saint Urbain, Skurva the Wanderer, the sick Saint Astria with her knight Gal Vinland, and Sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Already the graphics on this game look just Humankind beautiful. I know they're just cutscenes. And steady extinction. With the deep minimal fog movement. Will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? To play the journey to the Nexus? Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Why would you want to skip it? But yeah, I never get to experience this game back on the PS3. Oh, I I fear death. Don't don't think I don't. I shall guide you to the fisher. I actually worked at GameStop and I remember everybody going, Oh, should I play Dark Souls? I'm like, dude, I wouldn't play it. So that you may <laughs> And then later on, I got to experience Dark Souls 2, and I loved Dark Souls 2. Shield. Is my ring already on? Sweet. Ring is on. Oh, no. What do I get for uh, not paying attention? Standard attack. We got, that's our standard. <laughs> Stop it. I know what you're trying to do. Beautiful looking game. The, the, the shadow effects, the lighting. Like something like this, this looks good. You just have this little bit of shine going through from the fire. That's my roll. Oh yeah, that's a good roll. I was like, what the hell is that? That was another player. Rope physics. Oh, hey, calm down, calm down. Mm, grass. Like, look at that. Look at this. It looks so freaking cool. <laughs> Direction hold to vault over railings. Whee! Back step. What's up, nerd? How do I, how do I backstab?
Touch it. No, don't touch it. Oh. Can I go back? I didn't. I wasn't done. Oh, man. Wasn't done exploring. No, you humans, we don't have to be enemies. The rest of you parry with R2. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> That's awesome! So yeah, we played as a knight for a little bit just to kind of uh, get a feel for the game, and that was interesting because you had the uh, not, and I don't remember what weapon he, we picked. Backstab. Oh, <laughs> he's like, give me back my axe. Need some grass. Trying to get down the parry, and you know, I figure now is probably a better time than later. What's up, nerd? your plan. You're lucky I hit the wall. If you want to hang out down here, that's cool. I'd rather kill you. He is very defensive. Got him. The lighting effects in this game are just so good looking. They did such a bang up job on this. Grass. Yum nom. That's why right. I do have a bow. Grass. A soul. We can knock stuff off the walls. Okay. Ah, this way. I was like, am I supposed to jump over the edge? Or what's the plan here? Look at the details in this furnace. This cauldron area. Oh, big pot. It's a cooking pot. We're in the kitchen. Mmm. I was just making jokes about that. 
Probably not nummy. Don't put that in your mouth, kids. <laughs> I want to look at the corpse. He's got something. Mm, more grass. Got you. Like, I'm so nervous. And that's why. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Captain A. Withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. So essentially, you won't let me die, is this what she's is saying. This the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not quit the Nexus, but the five archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. Sounds like a bet. I can quit whenever I want. Turn off. Delete. I don't know enough about this, uh, this game. I really don't. One thing I remember is, like, you just, you always are half health. Ridiculous. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land? And be remembered as a hero. <laughs> Some good facial animations in this game. Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Boletaria. Hmm. You knew here. Oh, you are new here, huh? The name's Baldwin. I'm just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons. Or forge the ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, eh? <laughs> no interest, eh? Okay, so that's where I can go to repair and do things, okay? Here. Oh my. Where are you? How has this happened? Has God abandoned us for King Alant, failing to show proper respect? Oh, Mbasa. Anybody else around here needs to talk to? I don't think I've ever seen her last time I uh, walked through this area. Huh. So how do we level up? Is that a thing? Shininess, that's so cool looking. <laughs> Heart 
Stone of the Tower Queen. So can I go to any of these? Like, if I want to, can I not go to the very first one? Oh, shit. Looks like you can. Probably not a good idea, right? Head to the gates. Look at how fast that is. Boom, done. Now, granted, this is a cutscene, but... Quit playing with your food. Eat what you got before you get more. If that was me, I'd walk out there, see that, and go, you know, this is going to get going. I'm just going to go home. Hey, what's this? Late moon grass. That's it. I don't remember seeing that before. So touching the stone will probably send me back. What's up, dudes? You. Grab that. Ooh, more grass. I think that ring is a, a good starting choice item, I feel like. Because it should essentially help you find more grass. There we go. Especially in this early game, I'm going to need all the grass I can get. <laughs> I just love doing that backstab. It's so satisfying. Is there a limit how much grass I can hold on to? What's up, nerd? Come on. Oh, I'm on fire. <laughs> That's what I get for calling names, huh? Shit talking. Ooh, firebomb. I'm trying to draw, I see the guy over here. Ooh, two guys. Dodge. Dodge the arrow, not the sword. You guys aren't really soul rich, are you? Ow. Over here. Look how shiny that is. Don't fall down there, kids. It's a trap. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like that's a good place to pause it. We'll continue our long, long journey in the next episode. And uh, let's keep going. So thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you can, give the video a like. It does help me out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel because I have tons of videos going on over there. Until next time, you guys, stay frosty.